Hi students, my name is Chris. I'm an accounting tutor with Chegg Tutoring. And today's uh, tutorial, we're going to discuss operating leverage. Operating leverage is a, a management accounting tool that indicates a company's operating risk and is based on their fixed cost structure. Uh, it involves using uh, a large proportion of fixed costs to variable costs in the company's operations. Uh, a simple indication uh, of operating leverage is the effect that a change in sales has on income. Companies typically that have a high degree of operating leverage have a larger ratio of fixed to variable costs, and as a result, their break-even point is higher. When operating income increases more with every increase in sales revenue, then operating leverage is high. There's a couple basic formulas that are used to calculate this ratio. Uh, the simple one is dividing the percentage change in EBIT, earnings before interest and taxes, by the percentage change in sales. So for example, if company ABC's earnings before interest and taxes increases by 20%, if its sales increase by 10%, the degree of operating leverage is 2, or 20% divided by 10%. Therefore, if their sales increase 15%, their earnings before interest and tax would increase by 30%. Operating leverage can also be calculated by subtracting variable costs from sales, which in effect is contribution margin, and dividing that number by sales minus variable costs and fixed costs. So the best way to look at this is uh, take a sample problem where we can calculate operating leverage. Uh, in this case, Craig Company manufactures and sells widgets. Uh, the widgets sell for $25 each. The variable cost per widget is $15, and the company's total fixed costs are $50,000. So we're told for the year ended December 31st, 2015, Craig Company sold 6,000 widgets and we're to calculate what their operating leverage is. So in this case, we're not given sales directly. We'll have to calculate that and use the formula where P equals price minus VC, variable cost, times X, the number of units sold. That will be our numerator. Our denominator is going to be, again, price minus variable cost times the number of units. And from that, we're going to subtract the total fixed operating costs. So let's plug in the numbers to, to calculate the ratio. So P minus VC, we're going to have $25 per, per unit of sell price minus $15 of variable costs times 6,000 units. So that's $10 per unit of, of, of margin times 6,000 gives us $60,000 for our numerator. We're going to calculate the denominator by taking, again, the contribution margin, in this case, 25 minus 15, $10, multiplied again by the number of units sold, 6,000. But in, now we're going to subtract the total operating fixed operating cost of 50,000, which gives us a denominator of 10,000. So dividing 60,000 by 10,000, the result is 6.0. That is what Craig Company's operating leverage is. So with this, uh, with an operating leverage of 6.0, if Craig Company's sales increase or decrease by one percentage point, then they can expect that net income will increase or decrease by six times or 6%. Again, this is a, another tool that's used by management to look at a company's operating risk, uh, it, along with other ratios to help give management a, a, a clear picture of where their, their risk and where their uh, best investments can be made. If you have any questions or need uh, further clarification about this topic on operating leverage, or if you need help with any other uh, accounting topics, this is my address on Chegg Tutors. Please feel free to contact me. I'd be happy to help you. Uh, I look forward to speaking with you again on another tutorial. 
Thanks very much.